Hi guys! So today I'm gonna give you a quick tour of my office slash craft room. So I hope you enjoy it. There's the door and when you enter this is what you will see so it's not a very big room but you know we make most of what we have right so what are we waiting for let's go ahead and start with our tour now first and foremost when you enter the room you will see my sun station and this is his cart so we actually have both of us have both of us have our own parts and this is his so he has like his books his pens um, his favorite books crayons watercolor right there more crayons scratch papers there at the bottom and this is his PC there so he has like a uh, 127 inch monitor um, this is his keyboard his glasses, his CPU, his mouse, there. Um, then moving on to the next is my station. So this is Olaf. Hi Olaf. So this is a Sensi. So it actually has a wax, um, fragrant wax here. Scented wax beads here at the bottom. So it will give you, um, it will keep my room smelling fresh all the time. It keeps my room smelling fresh all the time. So here, it's just like this, the wax that's inside him. And it smells like butter, like minty butter kind of thing. So you can only imagine, right? Okay, so that's Olaf. Um, this is my printer my cpu marcus's cpu this is my station so you can see there my cheat sheet for the water the colors um color families of altenew that's the company that i work for and then here um, this is my station so you have my keyboard it's not actually on so i took a break of looking at my monitor today <laughs> because i'm tired uh, just decided to do a quick craft room tour. So this is like a portable blender. See, it has a blender inside. I have this here because I was charging it. So if you turn there, so it just spins and I can make shakes on the go. So this is my chair. Um, just a few things about this chair. And the reason why I love it, it's because it has like a massage. Um, thing here inside I don't know how to call it but it's like a massage thing that if you if you plug it in there at the bottom it's just gonna start vibrating so and you can also lean this back and it has like a extension here for the foot so if you want to relax so fancy and you can see there just um you know that that's where i put my phone if i watch a movie while working you know I, my husband just tells me that cinema cinema is not really or filmography is not really a good thing for me because i just listen to the movie i don't really watch it it's my mouse still a vertical one um my board uh this is the uh, small 
what you call this cabinet that I have here. Um, the reason why it's here is because my modem's wire is so short, so I just have to put it here at the side. Um, what you'll see here is my phone, the cordless phone, the wired phone. Um, in there is my makeup, more stuff like my nebulizer, uh, my wires. There, here. Um, some extension wires that are here and some stuff like this one. I got this in the mail but I didn't open it yet. Um, my lotion, pawn papers, and just some other stuff. And then moving on to the side is my favorite part of the room, which is my crafting area. Oh, let me just stand up. <laughs> okay, so this tissue, uh, more papers that I use for envelopes. This is my handy paper trimmer, a guillotine paper trimmer like that. Okay, so more papers, um, stamp positioner, another stamp positioner. This is actually part of my The Works tool, but I put it here because I use it for big stamps sometimes. Um, this small box is, or actually this second level are mostly my watercolor stuff here so like watercolor paper sheets practice sheets that I made like this one don't know where to use that this so just keeping them there for future reference now these are this is like my scrap box so like scrap things that I have like extra stuff that I don't really know where to use yet so like this one um, this one like flowers more flowers foam sheets okay um, moving on to the next is this one this is my like sort of a scrap box still but most of the things that I have here are extra stuff for making cards like this one the cards that I don't have envelopes for yet I'm gonna make an envelope for this and give it to someone isn't that pretty but this is the first image that I made and this is the second one and whichever the two will work oh some more cards here don't no recipient yet so anybody who wants to get a card if you want to get card for someone just let me know I can give this to you here so cute and this is my color swatch for my watercolor and this one is uh, my Altenew ink pads um, the mini cube ones here give you a quick there quick look my mini cubes um, these are sticker papers there at the bottom so I'm gonna put you back there um, these are foam, foam tape watercolors so I have two watercolor packs right here. So this one is the Altenew 36 watercolor pants, half pants. And then this one is just a case actually, but what's inside this are the prototypes for the artist, great watercolorist of Altenew, which is already released. So I don't have that fancy um, tin case for it, but I have put, I did put them in this extra case for my watercolors um, these are pentel liquid watercolors here at the top um, so these are just some of the things that I'm working on right now currently so this box right here is for my embossing powders here I'll open it so these are my um, Embossing powder, silver, clear, white, gold. This is a um, 
like a what you call this golden peach okay just gonna put you there at the side and then here to the side are my um, this box right here this big box is used to contain my big dies so i don't have the actual packaging because these are the prototypes that i got from nicole so some things that i was working on here big dies big dies like the mandala dies so cute okay, so this is a big embossing folder um these are just some of the cards that i'm working on right now here so I have like a tracing pad, lead pad, that has a light and then you just put the paper on top of it on top of it and then it will have a light and will make tracing easier. I wish I had this when I was in school. Okay, so just some of the things that I have traced from my images and then I'm just gonna color them in. Put there there at the side. These are my Watercolors, watercolor markers, brush markers. Um, this is the acrylic blocks in different sizes. This is a big one. Um, it has a small one, the smallest one. And there's another big one here at the bottom. Oops, it's not closing. Okay. And then this is a metallic pen metallic pen set from Dong A and then this is another uh, marker set from my cousin Bell here so different colors as well um, another part here these are my large ink pads still from Altenew Altenew is a company that I work for and they send me this free stuff so that I can play with them. It makes us improve our customer service by knowing how the product works and you know, there. So it's just like a baking pad. Clear embossing ink, um, more embossing powders. Really, I love embossing powders. Uh, so this is actually a ring light. Um, most people use that for vlogging. And selfie and stuff but I use it as a lamp because it has like a wide coverage and it can cover like the entire table and this is my cutting mat so it's a self-healing cutting mat from Altenew um, my watercolor palettes um, I'm, I'm working on something but I didn't finish it so I don't know what to do with that one yet <laughs> okay so here at the bottom are boxes of alcohol and cereal boxes so I love to keep cereal boxes because I use them to organize my stuff like that box right there is a cereal box and I just covered it with washi tape and it's very pretty okay so this is my um, I think a lot of you already saw this this is like my art material and stuff um, I just put it there at the side and then moving on to this side um, this is my display area so you will see there my cards right there they don't have any recipients yet so I'm just displaying them there so if somebody has a birthday I'm just gonna look at this board and you know, just decide whoever <laughs> will fit that card and then I'll just give it to them so that is a very pretty card that I made recently, inspired by Sarah Newman. There. Then this is the Sizzix uh, Big Shot Plus die cutting machine. I had to buy it because it's pink and it's pretty. And this is very heavy. So I used a board. As you can see, this is actually my favorite washi tape. It's so pretty. So I use a board to hold it like that so it doesn't damage the plastic and this is my um, I call this the dump basket because this is where I put the stuff that I have and I don't really know where to use them so I just dump them there and hoping that I can find the right place for them someday 
Okay, so these are my uh, tensile foils, wrappers. So this um, this is actually from a flower that I got from my for my birthday last year, but from my husband. But I didn't throw it because he can always repurpose stuff. I don't. I hate throwing throwing things. That's why I have a problem of letting go. Char. Anyway, okay. So this is a um, another basket, just like that basket. I really like this one. I got this from Novo and Ormok. Now these are the drawers that holds my stamps. So I'll just give you a quick run through. Okay, so these are my stamps, my clear stamps from Alta New. Um, so this is the uh, an example of a clear stamp, a layering stamp. This is the Build a Flower Lavender. It also has the die at the back. So these stamps are make used to make this image right here. So if you're wondering why I'm keeping uh, keeping the cereal boxes, it's because I love to put them here. So these are actually Cocoa Crunch cereal boxes. See, so they can hold my stamps perfectly like that and these are honey stars <laughs> see you can always use this stuff you don't have to throw in you don't have to waste your stuff like these are the 4x6 stamps from Altenew these are prototypes I don't have packagings for them um, 4x6 these are the mini stamps um, Personalized stamps that I got from Altenew still Here this is one of my personalized stamps. It has my name on it. So pretty So th these are the mini stamps like sentiment stamps like that Then next uh, Below that is some of my supplies like this big stapler For making notebooks and such um different sizes of double-sided tape my crocodile um i'll just make a video on how to use a crocodile but this is a very nice tool to make eyelets um, holes punch holes and such okay just gonna put that there sorry I'm getting like an oc feeling right now i'm kind of a little oc when it comes to organizing now here at the bottom, um, you will see here some of the stuff that I use for sewing, um, like threads, beads, there so you can see threads, there are beads in there, sequins, and other stuff. Okay. So I have another puncher, <laughs> Just this works almost the same as a crocodile, but you know I I have to have two of each supply just so you know um, what you see here are my dies so let me just grab a chair to make this a lot easier okay so these are my dies um, you know this is constellation dies layering dies cover dies yeah, very pretty dies. That. So I'll just put them there. Um, here are my embossing folders. See? So if you put a paper here, so this actually has grooves, and if you put the paper inside it, it's gonna emboss the paper, and it's so pretty. And then enamel dots. That you can use to embellish your cards this one are the yellow yellow ones I have blue I have red there red and pinks um, my gloves for exercise as if I exercise no I don't I, I exercise sometimes <laughs> I rarely do but I do sometimes um, this part right here you can see my blower more of these wooden clips uh, what else some scratch papers like 
there. Um, this is a to call this. Um, this are just some of the cards that I made, and there are some mistakes on these cards, but I can always repurpose them. I haven't thought of repurposing them yet, but I'm pretty sure if I need something, I'm just gonna go here and find a card. Um, this one, these are just some of the important cuts, cutouts that I have, and then some cards that my son made for me, like this one, so cute. And some cards that I got from Nicole Picadura. See, this is so cute. See that elephant right there? So this is a card that I got from Nicole. And just keeping them there for, you know, safekeeping. Right here. The back. So these are actually just scraps, right guys? Like what are in there are just scrap papers and these are scrap papers too that I use for masking and everything. So in here, this is supposed to be where Marcus put his projects, but at the moment I am using it for my overflowing craft supplies. I'm really sorry, Marcus. Okay, so these are magnetic sheets. Um, another paper that I got in the mail craft papers there are more craft papers and Marcus's projects there at the bottom next um, drawer this one so these are Marcus's stuff so that's his clay um, just his wallet and everything um, this one more papers <laughs> I love papers because I use them a lot for crafting so this is my watercolor paper from Altenew. I haven't used it yet because I still have my own craft uh, watercolor paper. Another watercolor paper, the smaller version, still from Altenew. Here. And then I have a smaller version, Arches smaller version as well. And just some card stocks, card bases. And most of these papers I use for... Um, making envelopes and such and decorating as well so just like this one An extra paper for backgrounds um, here at the bottom more crafting supplies so tapes um, these are actually washi tapes here uh, these are refills for my glide tape glider um, here so I got this from my cousin Belle. She bought me one from the US because we don't have this here in the Philippines. Well, there was a seller who sold it, but she's out of stock. So my cousin bought me tons of them. Um, tape glider, eraser refill, correction tape refill. Uh, these are different sizes of double-sided tapes, crochet, I love to crochet sometimes, just not all the time. Um, two sizes of heat gun, big puncher, small puncher. See, I always have to have two of each supply, you know? Why can't I have one? Because one can never have more crafting supplies. That's why. Now let's go to my cart. So remember that Marcus has his own card right there. And I also have my own card for my crafting supplies. So these are my watercolor pencils. Um, these are my glitter pens, gel pens. These are my Sharpies right here. So I have the big brush marker. And I have the ordinary marker right here. And I have another kind of marker which is the brush marker. Still, but it's the smaller version of the big one. And then these are the markers that I got from Altenia. Right here, so it's a dual tip marker. One has a brush tip. 
And the other side is a... Here, like a pointy tip. So my hands are dirty actually because I've been working on a project and you know, it's a crafter's hand. It's a sign that you're having fun with your craft room if your hands are dirty. Now moving on to the next part, um, these are my pre-cut card fronts. So I just use this to stamp on, uh, decorate and everything. These are watercolor papers from my friend Atimaya. I cut them in small cards and these are card bases. So it has like a pre-cut thing already. So I just stick the card front there and then give this to a friend. That. Uh, this is the tape glider, um, the one with the refill that you saw earlier. Oh shoot, why are you there? Okay, put you back. Here, so it, it if you just put this on a paper and then run it, um, it has like a sticky thing right there. To help. It's like a double sided tape basically. Um, extra envelopes, scissors more scissors um, my heat gun for embossing this are my brushes for watercolor pencils like mechanical pencils different kinds of brushes combo marker mm, here so just any brushes and then this is my stamping mat I just dangle it here so whenever I want to use it, it's easy to find. Okay, next, here at the bottom, you will see my supplies. Some of my supplies, actually. So, this is my uh, blending tool from Alta New. These are foam tapes, double sided tape double-sided tape so large medium double-sided tape small double-sided tape small foam tape um, what else my this is my um, sharpener washi tapes more washi tapes um, see this is where I say I always have to have more than one of something so I have a stapler. Remember, I have a big stapler right there, and I have another stapler. So I have like three staplers. And then two of these. So actually, the, these I got this when I bought these um these trolleys. So this comes for free, and I just keep them there. They can be handy. Um, this tool is used to cut corners. So I'm gonna make a video on how to use this. But basically, it just uses it. I use it to cut corners. Um, what do I have here? So these are adhesive spray, of course, glue, embossing, refill, my sequence, another sequence, another sequence. Stiff from Alta New. See, it's so pretty. This is a satin white sequence from Altenia. Uh, This one is an embossing dab dabber from Ranger. This is the Peerless uh, watercolor from Nicole. So it's actually like a watercolor. It works like a watercolor pan. So you just get a brush and then wet this. So you can already lift the colors and then just use it to color. Uh, I'm gonna make a video for that as well. Metallic watercolor from Altenew. Um, this one are my Penta liquid watercolors. Uh, this is the Prang watercolor. So I have many kinds of watercolor. I actually just test them right as I said one can never have too many coffee supplies um, this is a washi tape 
And this is the washi tape that I used for the, if you remember that, and that box. So this is the one that I used to cover those. So this is another washi tape, big washi tapes. Um, this is my cutting plates for my um, mini blossom die cutting machine these are my this is my mini blossom die cutting machine and these are just some booklets that I have as a guide you know how to make envelopes cards and everything so it's like a pretty booklet um, this is a watercolor sheet so this is actually from the, that peerless sheet, but Nicole organized it in this different sheets and no, I just put them in here. I'm gonna make a video on how to use these. And I'm just gonna put you here at the top. And these are stamps. There. And then let's turn it. So that is my Tim Holtz positioner. I also have a Misty. And then this is my the works tool right there oh, sorry so this is my the works tool um i use this to make envelopes and such okay so that part right there those are just some documents that i have my wires um these are that one these contains like party things that I use for decorations like crepe papers. Um, this is not usually here. I put this outside. But since yesterday I was making a costume for my son. So I brought it here. So I have here like extra cloth, balloons, like that. So as I said, I don't like throwing things because I can always repurpose them for DIY things and such like barbecue sticks. Okay. Um, these cabinets they hold most of my dresses the reason why I have my dresses here is because whenever I have a meeting and I'm not really ready I don't have to run to the room just to get my dresses mm -hmm. so my dresses are there uh, bags these are my refill inks um, my wire extra wires and everything uh, this is another tool that I use for crafting uh, this is called the crafters companions I don't know I forgot the name but it's a crafters companion thing um, for this one this is my this is like a lipstick set that I got from my cousin Belle and then this one is just some supplies I got recently like glue another glue and those are journal stuff and some other stuff and in here are also just some clothes that I use uh, as you can see I always have to have a matching hanger for them like the orange ones are for my husband's clothes and then these pink ones are for mine all right and now you have read a complete tour of my craft room okay so that concludes my craft room tour I hope you like it and if there's anything that you saw that you would like me to demo on how to use them just let me know and I'd be more than happy to make a video for them bye for now